Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Game Explorers. Today we take a look at the newest dungeon crawler on Steam. I think it's the newest at this time of recording. Anyway, this is an old school hardcore dungeon crawler grid based thing, much like Legend of Grimrock. And like any, uh, any good old dungeon crawler, it's hard as shit. But one by one. First of all, you go through a character creator, a fairly detailed one. Three, uh, four, yeah, four, not three. Brave adventurers are ready to go on a quest. Conan the Barbarian, myself, Lohana the Elf, and Red Sonia. Before she became Red, just Sonia, the Hercan. After you've done creating all your characters, making a party of mighty heroes to face the challenges you uh, in the future, you go in to the temple of whatever its name is and start your adventure from there. This is called Dungeon Kingdom. Dungeon Kingdom, I think they took the name a bit too literal because everything is designed like a dungeon. And like a dungeon, it is filled with many, many dangers and challenges, monsters, traps, and especially puzzles. Lots of puzzles. Alright, let's uh, put the key in here. Ah. Seriously, okay, um, okay, let's take the key back out, we need it again over the Son of a bitch. And most of them are not easy too. You really have to read the scrolls and books you find in this game. And they will just me barely give you any hints as to how to solve most of them. So most of the time, like you'll do like what I did in the beginning. I'll, uh, you'll be backtracking through, uh, through the whole place. Picking up everything you can. Trying to figure out something to help you pass this trial. Maybe we can use physics here. Let's put a parallel over here. Uh, come. come back here. But fear not. It's not all puzzles and uh, locked doors and stuff. There are also monsters. What the fuck? Which uh, can be a bit challenging early on in the game, especially if you don't have the right party combination. I mean, you have to be strategic when building your characters to face the challenges that are coming. If you go all physical, you might be screwed on some of the magical or ranged enemies. If you go all magical, then you will be screwed on the melee enemies. And of course, that factors into solving the puzzles, of course. You need to have a certain variety in your party to be able to face the challenges in this game. I'll slap the shit out of you. Oh, shit. Two down? You fucking kidding me? Oh, shit. Two died. But know that most of the time, you will be, uh, the challenges you will be facing are puzzles and switches and doors and stuff like that. Basically, you're trying. Uh, most of the time, you will be trying to figure out how to continue, not how to kill a certain enemy, because the because yeah, exploration is the key here. You need to explore, you need to read, and you need to figure shit out. It's not all about muscles and stuff. Let's offer an empty barrel. But did it work? I heard something. I heard something. Please tell me it worked. Please. Uh, no. But, uh... Puzzles and monsters aside, what about the true meat of the game, the dungeon crawling, the dungeons, uh, the dungeon itself? Well, it does a good job of uh, immersing you in it, immersion, well, whatever. 
it has a really thick good atmosphere that keeps you focusing tense listening to everything the small sounds the movements the lighting effects all these do a really great job of putting you inside this environment and the puzzles and challenges you face they add to that tension but the problem lies with two things the main focus here as i noticed through experience is not uh, providing you that claustrophobic feeling of being in a dungeon it's more about um, solving the puzzles in it that i feel like that's uh, the main focus of the game so far and uh, for for that part it's fine and no cl and the claustrophobic feeling while it's not really there it's still good you can you, you still ha you st you are still lost in this maze trying to figure it out and there are some rooms with big high ceilings that uh, give you a press of fresh air but a lot but most of the time you'll be stuck in tight corridors trying to find your way through the maze ah oh, fuck it yolo <gasps> ouch right so where is a fuck are we is up with all right so now that we talked about all that good stuff let's talk about the bad stuff uh first of all the story uh, it's very very lame or uninteresting really it's not very memorable to be honest but uh, yeah i like you play through the game you completely forget about the story when you're in the dungeon solving puzzles and fighting monsters until suddenly a dialogue uh, a dialogue scene pops up in your face without any warning and it talks to you about some about something that you completely forget a few minutes later reflection of the demon this one? <laughs> nah, he's one of the playable characters. What? But that's nothing. The real problem with this game that you will face later on, not at first, it's through um, opening and closing and dying and stuff, you will find lots and lots of bugs. Like, they don't stop you from progressing so far, but they do break the immersion completely. And like at some point, at many points, my dead characters, they were just fighting and working exactly like the, as like the live ones. I mean, my dead characters attacked, they ate, they drank, they healed, everything, as if they weren't dead. And that is one of the biggest annoyance it i already have uh, reported it to the developers and i think they might have resolved it by now but yeah that and other bugs like enemies passing through you while you're attacking sometimes they'll, their ai will break completely and they will just walk away looking for you as you're attacking them on their back or something and of course there are some game exploitation game mechanic exploitations of course hmm i wonder <laughs> okay so my dead character managed to level up his ninja skill by attacking the air i can max out my skill standing here Oh, Conan uh, leveled up his ninja skill. But don't worry, these uh, glitches and bugs and exploitations, they don't stop you from progressing the game. They just break immersion and generally annoy you. What does stop you from progressing the game is your own ability to solve the puzzles. They require some brain power, of course, not uh, using dead characters in combat 
where uh, as for combat as you can see this is just a rat that is after I exploited the game mechanics and I just leveled up my characters like two to three levels each in ninja and warrior skills and he still takes a ton of hits and he killed my main character eh, what can you say the rats Ah oh, shit it's a trap it's a trap he said it okay so we have to pass oh uh, I thought we had to pass the trials but he said to bypass him because we need to hurry and shit like this so wait so I'm supposed to just ignore all these rooms and go straight uh, to the stone we're looking for are we even looking for a stone? I can't even remember in the end it's, uh, it's not too bad I mean it's not bad at all really they did a good job on many aspects of the game but there's still the bugs and glitches and these small stuff which uh, the, if they can be fixed this is still early access so and the developers are actively listening to feedback and responding to them so yeah this could rival Legend of Grimrock in fact it's more like Legend of Grimrock but uh, with less polish and that's not a bad thing that's good this one focuses a lot more on the stories in Legend of Grimrock and stuff like that I haven't tried too many dungeon crawlers really but uh, it seems like Legend of Grimrock is the biggest name in that respects the old school dungeon crawlers this one is looking to compete and from what I see right now it's not too bad it has a chance to compete and it's fun even with all these problems I had fun playing it and I still do so yeah fun but flawed it's still good uh, and if you think you would like the, uh, this kind of game check it out it's on steam it's on sale right now I think by the time this video is up the, sh the sale should be over and eh, maybe anyway thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and uh, see you later bye